is the Sports Maven Show, presented by Coons Ford of Security Boulevard. Now, here's the Maven himself, Bruce Posner. Good morning, Bruce is away from the microphone. This is Wayne Viner. That is intern Mason. This is segment three, brought to you by Science and Kirk. And Science and Kirk brings you in the nest, and that'll be back next Sunday before the Ravens game. Mason, there's some other things we want to talk about. One is our support of the Prostate Run Walk that uh, Dr. Siegel and Chesapeake Urology has put on. That is back. It is next Sunday morning. We're going to be out there and do a live segment on uh, In the Nest with Science and Kirk. So we're looking forward to that. Always a lot of Baltimore sports luminaries out there, Orioles, Colts, uh, former Ravens, etc. And uh, last year we had Earl Monroe as the guest. So, <clears throat> as we turn uh, towards Kevin Sheen, we'll have him on in a moment. Uh, other big news is Caps startup. It's training camp. You, you still jazzed about the Caps winning the Stanley Cup? Yes, it is. And I don't know if you heard it yesterday, the quote from Alex Ovechkin. Which Someone is? asked him, is the f- what's your new phrase after the we won't suck this year? And he said... We won't suck this year again. <laughs> I think we <laughs> it's pretty good. We need to get that T-shirt. I, I need some more cap stuff. That was one of the great runs in our sports history is actually winning the Stanley Cup. I, I've waited most of my life since 76 as a Caps fan, and that's one of the few championships that you actually remember because you're not as old as I am. That's the only championship. Well, I mean, you were there for Maryland Lacrosse. I mean, Lacrosse. Maryland Lacrosse, all right. Yeah, I got to honor Bruce. Maryland Lacrosse is up there with the Capitals. Okay. That Caps thing, that was absolutely great. Somebody who followed along with the Caps and Maryland, and every once in a while I could see him on the sideline uh, with Scott Van Pelt at the Maryland basketball games. It is Kevin Sheehan on the line. Welcome in this morning, Kevin, on 1300 Guys, CBS Sports Radio. How are you guys doing? We are good. We're jacked up for the Maryland Temple game. Mason has been uh, one of your first ardent listeners on your new podcast. Mason, what do you think of that podcast? Well, Kevin, it's nice to have you back on the air in D.C. talking Redskins. And I really missed you for that about month or so that you were gone on my morning drive to school. Well, Mason, I appreciate that. I miss doing it. And uh, that's why I had to I had to figure out a way to get uh, on the air somehow in, in the podcast. So far, so good. It's a work in progress, but um, it's a lot of fun. But I, I, I miss being on radio. I miss doing mornings with Uli and um, and uh, you know. But it's football season, and, and the Terps are two and zero. So it's it's fun to talk about that. Yeah, the other. I think it was last Sunday on your podcast after the Redskins Cardinals game. You gave the last thirteen minutes to honoring Lefty Drizel. And I really liked that segment, and you gave us some stories that we haven't heard. Well, I mean, I am of the age um, of basically growing up in Cole Fieldhouse. My, my father took me to every big Maryland basketball game in the 70s and in the 80s, and then I, I was at school there in the, seven, in the 80s and through the bias years. And Lefty, you know, what was really interesting about his induction into the Hall of Fame for me was you had Krzyzewski, you had George Raveling, and then you had John Thompson as his presenters. And anybody of a certain age knows that Georgetown and Maryland hated each other, and they didn't play for a long period of time. Without and Kevin, was, Kevin, was it Georgetown and Maryland, or did it seem like it was Lefty and John Thompson? Well, I was just going to say, Wayne, it was, you know, th- there was bad blood between Lefty and, and, and Big John, and it's funny working at the radio station over the years and, and having a show that was on before Coach Thompson's show. I got to know him pretty much, um, you know, over a, over a ten year period. And you know, he would always say to me, he'd say, "Ah, that stuff was you know built up." It, it, I love Lefty, and Lefty and I get along. And I said, it never seemed like it. And there was an incident in 1981, I believe, 80 or 81 at DC Armory when they played and. And Georgetown won the game, and Lefty and, and Big John got into it at the scorer's table, um, cursing each other out. And Maryland played Georgetown later that year. Uh, it was actually uh, 1980 in Philadelphia yeah. in the Sweet 16, 
and Georgetown beat Maryland, and that was it. That was it until 93 when they played at U.S. Air Arena and Gary's first big win. But Lefty, you know, Lefty was the, was bigger than life. And if you ever had a chance to meet him, if you've ever had a chance, if you had a chance to follow his career, it was one of those things where people always said Lefty is colorful. He's a great recruiter, but he never could win the big game. And I think there was, you know, I think it was exaggeration on on both ends. He was he was in in fact a great recruiter for a stretch there in the '70s and early '80s. Um, but I always felt like he was underrated as a coach, and unfortunately, he never got through, never got into the Final Four, even though he had teams that were clearly among the best four teams in the nation, and we're talking about some of those teams back in the mid-70s, the 74 right. team in particular, that yep. didn't have a chance to go to the tournament. They had that NIT banner up there that Maryland won the they NIT, did. and that was the highest-ranked team up there. When you look back at that Georgetown team that played Maryland, for a Maryland fan back in 1979-1980, I think you looked across the court and you saw Sleepy Floyd and John Duran, and you went, wow, these guys are pretty good. And then the next class that Thompson brought in there at Georgetown, I think, became the, the sort of going towards Ewing. And boy, did they yeah, take was, off there for a little bit. Yeah, it was Craig Shelton, it was Bebe Duran, it was Sleepy Floyd as a young player. And in the first game that year, the game where Lefty and John, you know, the the legendary game at the Armory where they went after each other, Buck Williams didn't play in that game. And that's why a lot of people thought Maryland would win the rematch in the NCAA tournament in the Sweet 16. And it's hard for people to probably understand this, but, you know, in 1980, there was no baseball team here. You know, the hockey team wasn't any good. Um, the Bullets had won a championship in 70, in 78, had gotten back in 79, but Maryland basketball was the number two thing in town behind the Redskins, and it really wasn't close. And the Maryland-Georgetown game in the Sweet 16 uh, that year was really, at that point, one of the biggest local sporting events in terms of matchups in a long, long time. The hype for that game, the buildup for that game was played at the Spectrum in Philadelphia, and Georgetown beat them up. I mean, they beat up Albert King, and they, they won the game, and and uh, and it was it was it was tough for Maryland fans to swallow, and they wouldn't get revenge until '93 when Gary got it in, in his yeah. first big game out in Landover. And the, the aftermath of that game in Landover was like New Year's Eve and Halloween and everything all wrapped into one. <laughs> it was the we, best. Out in that parking lot, blowing our horns and jumping around, we actually beat Georgetown. Joe Smith showed up, but that's for another show, and we'll get get to more yeah. basketball later. Mason uh, brought up the milkman story. If you have a good recall on that, if you can give us a yeah. condensed version, we have a few minutes here. So Lefty, um, so Tom Lavero and I, who did a show in middays for seven and a half years, did this thing for about a four or five year period called Lunch with a Legend. We invited people to Morton's downtown and we honored, and we did a two hour show and it was a two hour interview basically. And we did every local legend you could think of you know, other than Sugar Ray Leonard, he was the only one we never got. And Lefty, it took me two years to get him. We finally got him. And, you know, there were so many stories that I had never heard. But one of my favorites was the recruitment of Moses Malone, which was legendary at the time. He signed with Maryland, went to class for a day or two, and then signed a million-dollar deal with the Utah Stars. But the Milkman story, after uh, Moses signed, Lefty called him at one point during the summer and said, Moses, how are you staying in shape? Are you playing a lot of ball? And he said, Coach, I'm staying in shape. He said, well, where are you playing ball? Where are you playing pickup? And he said, I, I, I go over to the state penitentiary. And, and Lefty said, well, why are you going over there? And he said, because that's the only place I can get a good game. They got a big dude in there. They call him the milkman. And the milkman is 6'10". And Coach, he said, you know, you ought to recruit him. And Lefty said, well, tell me more about the milkman. He said, he can shoot it, he can post, he can rebound, he can block shots, he's 6'10". Coach, he's the best player I've ever played against. So Lefty called up the governor of Virginia and said, there's a guy in the penitentiary named the milkman, and I'm offering him a full scholarship to Maryland. The governor said, Coach, i got to look into it, I'll get back to you. And when he got back to Lefty, He said, Coach, do you know why they call him the milkman? And Lefty said no. And he said, because he murdered a milkman. (laughs) (laughs) You you laugh about it, but it's not that funny. 
But Lefty then said to the governor, well, can you get him out? <laughs> and the governor said, coach, the milkman ain't never getting out. And, uh, and that was that story. Lefty told so many stories that day about recruiting and, and, and coaching against Dean Smith and Norm Sloan and, and the great coaches of the 70s. He is really um, one of the greatest storytellers, still sharp memory. And, uh, and I, I loved that Hall of Fame induction speech last week. Loved it. And anybody who hasn't seen that should, should seek that out on the Internet. One of the best lunches I ever had was at Morton's with Kevin Sheehan, and it's the day you had the two-hour special with Gary Williams. And it was Yeah, two- Gary was great. We did a bunch of those. I mean, Gary was great. John Thompson was great. Sonny Jurgensen was incredible. But I will say this, that my favorite one by far was the one with Lefty. All right. um, and we could have gone on for another two hours because he, he, he never runs out of stories. And, and uh, I'm, I'm glad, and, and Wayne, I think you feel the same way. I'm just so glad that he got into the Hall of Fame now and that this didn't come, you know, 15 years from now, long after he was gone. I, I, I'm, I'm thrilled that, that it happened. For Absolutely. Him. Uh, Kevin, we're up against the clock, but Mason has one more. Kevin, what are your thoughts? Terps get 16 points today against Temple, or Temple gets 16 points against the Terps. Well, Temple's turned the ball over a bunch in their first two games. Um, I don't think they're as bad as as they've looked in the first two games. Uh, But, God, Maryland's been running the ball. And, guys, I was looking at this the other day. If you take basically their their top four backs in terms of carries – they're averaging like 7.8 yards per carry. They are um, running it, it well, and I think they're going to have a big day on the field today against Temple. Kevin, unfortunately, we're out of time. We have to do this again. Maybe you can come on the Young Turps podcast, and we can do this for even longer. But that was Kevin Sheehan. Tell anytime, him, guys. Tell thanks. him, what's the name of the podcast? It, it just it, You can download it. It's the Kevin Sheehan Show, iTunes, TuneIn. Google Play, anywhere Stitcher, or just go to the Kevin Sheehan Show.com and it's right there on my website. You got I really it. appreciate it, guys. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks to Bruce Bowser, who was on earlier. Thanks to intern Mesa for coming in. This is Wayne Viner. You've been listening to the Sports Maven. Go Terps! Radio 1300.